We'll demonstrate how to configure the communication parameters of our ATV32 to be controlled over Modbus TCP communications. First, the hardware. You'll need an ATV32 and the Ethernet module that plugs into it. Our Ethernet module supports Modbus TCP and Ethernet IP and has two ports for daisy chaining your Ethernet. Second, you'll need the documentation. The documentation is available on our website at schneider-electric.com. So we'll go to Products and Services, Automation and Control. We'll look at the product offer. We'll scroll down until we find the motion and drives. I'm going to select Compact Drives. And then I'll get the Altivar 32. I'll scroll down and select the documents and downloads. We do have a free software to program the 32 and all of our drives and motion controllers. Uh, the software is called SoMove Lite. You can download this. I will demonstrate the software as we move forward. I'm going to scroll down now and grab the technical publications. You're going to need three documents. Number one is the Ethernet manual. I believe it's on page two. Yes, the Altivar 32 Modbus TCP Ethernet IP manual. You'll want to download this manual. We'll want to download the programming manual so you can program the drive for your application, for the mechanical application. And we'll want the Altivar 32 installation manual so when you install the drive you do not get shocked. So download those three drives. Now I'm only going to show you the parameters we need to control the drive over communications. This is not intended to demonstrate how to program a drive for the mechanical application. So let's look at the Modbus TCP settings of the drive. If you go under from the, the display of the drive itself under the configuration menu, full comms, communication card, you'll notice the following settings. We are going to make sure the Ethernet protocol is set to Modbus TCP. We have our choice. We're going to set a static IP of address in there of 192.168.10.30. I'm going to give it the subnet mask. And since we're doing Modbus TCP, I am going to configure the PLC, which is the IP master. This 192.168.10.11 is the PLC's IP address. As I scroll down further, we'll look at uh, enabling the I.O. scanner. We're going to go and select Yes there. And the default settings for the registers that we're going to control and monitor to command the drive to run and to monitor its current state. This is the default where the first uh, output from the PLC is the control word and the second output is the commanded speed. And then we've got the two inputs monitoring the status and the current running speed of the drive. As I scroll down further through the document, I've grabbed excerpts out of the document, but um, there are three different operation profiles that we can set up in the drive. The first is quite easy. It's just setting the drive up for I.O. profile. That way the communications that you use mimic the terminals that are on the drive itself. So the other method of controlling a drive is using the Canon Automation 402 standard. This is internationally accepted for drive and motion controller profiles. I'm going to use the separate mode. So this is what things look like. My first uh, reference channel 1 is set to the comm network. My profile is set to separate. And the command switching is set to 312. This is the twelfth bit of the control word that we talked about here. This control word. Let's scroll back down. And C313 is the thirteenth bit of that control word. So we're going to be able to control this drive from the Ethernet or locally. So as we move forward, you can also program the drive via the web page. So I've got two web pages. Here's the IP address of the drive, and I showed that to you earlier. I've got the network setting set up at Modbus TCP, the IP address, the subnet. I've got no gateway. 
and if I scroll through to the Modbus scanner, you'll note that I have the IO scanner on and these are my command word, speed set point, status word, and output velocity just like we did from the uh, keypad of the drive. So the third way we can set the drive up is using our SoMove software. SoMove is quite easy to use and again I'm just going through the uh, through the software pertaining to the communication setups. So if I go to the full menu, the command, I have the channel mode configuration. I've got that set for separate. What this means is based on the command channel switch being bit 12, the command control is set on the COM card or on the terminals based on that 12th bit. The switching frequency is based on the 13th bit and it's going to be based on the reference coming over the Modbus TCP communications or on the analog input 1. So, And we'll also go into the network settings. I am programmed for Modbus TCP. We saw this on the web page. Auto detect. Um, I've got the fixed IP mode and here's my IP address. So the drive is now ready to communicate to the PLC. So the next video, we will set the M340 PLC to control the drive.